Hey guys, Bots and Blasters here. Another Nerf Thrifting episode. Let's step into our first Goodwill. Right away, found a Rex Rampage for $1.99, which was a, not a bad deal, but it was very sandy and very gunky, which lead me to think that there might be some sand or similar gunk in the flywheel cage, so I passed on it. Here we got a Koosh Blaster, as well as a toy gun, so I moved down a little bit, still looking. Uh, some sort of power drill. Then a Nerf Vortex Lumatron. Have all the blasters just about in the series, so I passed on it. Then I found a Nerf Rival Edge, something I did not have in my arsenal. I believe this one is the Sidewinder. Feel free to correct me. Then I found a Mega XL Big Rig for $1.99. That's a yes, please. Those break shields in my games and shatter them for the entire round. Over here, found a Nerf Triceratops Dino Squad Blaster. My girlfriend wanted to see this, so I let her take a look at it. And then, found a Trigger Fire. Oh boy, these are uncomfortable to shoot. Although I do wonder if that drum will fit on the Magnum. That's a passing musing of my own. But it was not worth picking up for the price they were asking. Then found a Strong Arm for $5.99. Oh boy. Over here, next to the 599 strong arm, there was another one, but the price half removed. So I just put them together. Maybe somebody can work out a deal. Uh, and then over here, a rival takedown. I already have three or four of these already. And that wasn't a bad price. It's a very reliable blaster. And then a nerf flip fury. Uh, both of the rotations worked, and I'm pulling the trigger to make sure it still functions and nothing's jammed inside. <laughs> then found a... Uh, Dart Zone Adventure 4 Scorpion. But here's what I ended up getting. The Edge Sidewinder, I believe, and the Big Rig for $1.99. That was cool. I'm going to go ahead and put those there. Heading on to the next area, which is Thrift City. And this one is still looking bone dry. I don't know what's going on with the store. Maybe they're going out of business or something, but they just have not been getting any new stock. Uh, these things that I've been showing have been here for months, probably since I started my channel, and that's embarrassing. So we're just going to move right along to Texas Thrift, which is one that we frequent quite regularly. And looking around, that same Sidewinder still here. A Ryan's World Blaster missing the drum, which is, um, okay. <laughs> and then I found this wrist-mounted uh, Spider-Man Blaster. I really like seeing these. They're really useful for HVZ, like last-ditch shots, especially when you're trying to reload your primary or possibly a secondary. Uh, down here, I found a pristine, just about, Nerf Rampage. I was checking if it was an Icon series because it looked so clean, but it wasn't. So I was like, wow, if I didn't have two or three of you already, I probably would have got you. But you can stay right there. Underneath that, I found a Tetra Shot. Still in the package? <laughs> this reminds me of a when Beret tried to run a Stripe, still in the package. So I don't know, that made me laugh. It gave me a hearty chuckle. A uh, X-Shot Reflex here. These aren't bad blasters for the loner bins. This Alpha Strike Blaster, which hurt my hand just to hold. So no thank you. Another <laughs> Reflex. This is the day of reflexes, apparently. And a laser, a laser blaster for laser tag. That was cool. I like seeing laser tag stuff out in the wild. Looking around, looking around. With these X shot blasters that uh, I'm sorry, it was a kids blaster designed off the X shot ones. And here was the technician for Elite 2.0. This wasn't a bad one to get up, but definitely not for me. A Fortnite blaster. I usually see these in yellow, not in blue. So I went ahead and picked that up. And this Dino Blaster here, which the trigger didn't work correctly. Or I don't know if it was meant to be that way. Over here, found a couple of X-Shot Blasters and a Air Warriors Blaster. Went ahead and passed on those for five bucks. Wasn't worth it. Over here, found some Nerf targets as well as a Nerf shell, I believe, for a sledge fire. Could be wrong there. Looks a little thicker. But uh, three bucks was a bit steep for only one shell. And over here, Disruptor. I have many of these already. Uh, so yeah, passed on that. Of course, I got this because I'm the boss. <laughs> Just kidding. What I ended up looking at was actually down here, this X-Shot Blaster. This is when I think they were starting to take themselves more seriously, but they still shot the foam discs for some reason. Over 
over here in the bag area, some random darts and a four cylinder blaster uh, that revolves from Dart Zone. I'm not familiar with that one. Over here I found a belt that I thought for a moment was another stampede belt, but it wasn't so I passed on it. Checking down here, saw some interesting bright colors, but no blasters, just Ninja Turtles nunchucks. Here a couple of uh, Jolt S blasters along with some streamlines. Remember those streamlines? <laughs> There's also some X-Shot Zero darts in there too. Those, are, those aren't bad. Over here a couple of other random blasters. I think that's a fast shot. I think my buddy Not Enough Nerf talked about those recently. And in this bag a whole bunch of nothing. Nope. Thought it might have been something, turns out it wasn't. Over here though I did find a, uh, I guess I'll call them Triad-esque Dart Zone Adventure Force Blasters as well as an Alpha Strike Jolt. That was pretty interesting to see. Not worth that price though. Here's what we ended up getting. I got the Fortnite Blaster for $3.98 and that was it. <laughs> Just three blasters today guys. The more you collect the more it's about what you don't have. There's a lot of stuff I saw that I could have used for projects, but since I'm not actively taking commissions right now for my group, I passed on a lot of stuff, and I do have a lot of inventory. I know I've been talking to some people on Instagram, and they've been asking me for like an Arsenal video or something. I'm working on that. Uh, that'll probably come a bit later. What have you guys been picking up? Have you guys found anything interesting? But more importantly, did I miss something interesting? Please let me know. You know, I'm always looking to up my nerf thrifting game. Until then guys, I'll see you next time on the battlefield. Peace out.